And they're calling it for a goal. He got up to throw the assist. But in the end, no need as Brenigi gets the score. Here come the Dutch. And I'd have to say that was up. And there isn't even a dispute by the Hungarian. A little bit miraculous. Two Dutch players running down there. Spatzendorf has an open side. Tries to hit it, but a huge layout. D. Excellent effort by Vassenberg. Now you have to throw it to him. What are they doing? What is this? I've seen a bunch of people along the sidelines do this over the course of the tournament. What is it? And they're going to open up a shot all the way across the field. Defenders there on the back, but he does not get there in time. That is a fantastic snag from Lucas Biskupek. It was tight pressure. And now a furry. As De Crown isolated in the deep space and a towering, posterizing sky from Tobey De Crown. Oh, he just does this for a living, Felix. Is, is uh, Japan not chasing down the pool? Oh, and a fantastic layer. Come down with the zone and then transition into one to one. But Lanky Liesmonds with a lead throw. Great reception. So Belgium could just give themselves a little bit of room to work with. No, they can't. Oh, my God. Lucas Biskopek. Unfortunately, it doesn't work out. Janssen has no such reservations about sending it to Morrison. You should have thrown it earlier. And what a way to get the medal. Janssen feeding Morrison, the little man. And I think he might be done. Good for him. So is his whole team after that phenomenal play. The Netherlands take home bronze. And a well-deserved bronze medal as well. Heartbreak for Hungary. Did she get a touch on that? Dude? I think there might have been a point block. She definitely put the pressure on that caused the turnover. And they go for another ambitious shot immediately to the end zone. And it's it's not quite a break yet. And it's caught for a break. Once more on offense. Babu puts it up the line. To see money. And a layout grab will be caught. What an amazing display of skill on this French side and Mabi Connaisson is going to under it a lot of Italian but it's just he how did he, what? did he get there? What? He's gonna, getting end zone eyes and there's going to be bodies underneath it and a big defensive effort by Rollet. It's always a clean defensive block as the French shoot back. Amazing put into the into space and Rollet is going to collect it. How did she get her hands around that one? Seven, six, a four point run by Latvia. Roar! He deserves to roar on that one. Part-time dinosaur, full-time superstar. Cutting very hard for the Spanish side. Goes with a huge arcing blade this time, looking for Cardero! What a way to take half! What a grab! Just gets high fly so long. And he, I don't know how he got that. Trying to go down the line. Smooth, bounces off of a few hands, and Lazdane, she's gotten probably the two most important scores for the Latvians. Jaegers gets it to turn off in the middle of the pitch, and that's really well done. And you can see that Ilgash felt the pressure from Padilla. Phillips keeps it moving. Slides. He doesn't want the deep shot immediately. He takes on the second chance. It's two people down there, but only Jaegers goes and gets it. And that is an absolutely Jurassic play. Latvians perform before at under 24 here as well on the live stream at this under 20 event. Of course, it's Takash always there for a good reset and always there to put it as well into the zone and into the hands of Bynock. Hellas just, just shy of the end zone. The handler's now moving it quickly. Oh, what a throw. What was that, Christina? Costa will get the back and gonna work it up the field. What a great work from that player. As what great hands there. Havlova showing once more at this play. And Unbelievable flow there, Christina. The red zone of the Hungarians. And she's gonna launch it deep immediately. Tech player over it and she can't reach it and we're going to universe. And that was Halas again keeping this game alive. So first up line cut doesn't get thrown to, neither does the second. Now going to swing a blade all over to the far side of the pitch. Aurora Jonsson with a fantastic tiptoe ballerina-esque. We'll see if she could just about keep it down to Juliette Puel. 
And now Ruel with a low flick. It's going to get tipped and well recognised that it was alive. Big fan of Ian McEwen because there was a lot of atonement on the field there and a big blade over the top. Oh my God! How on earth did Arsenal get that? That was insane. They had no right. Larson, Larson shows the big shot, puts it back in the locker and now she takes it. Rolling, blading that backhand down the line. Oh, and Sweden have made it work. It is so good. And who else but Vendela Victorson getting her fourth goal of the game. And that might be the best of the bunch, Christina. See Ungergaard sitting, waiting to be led towards that far sideline. Continuation down the pitch. What a layout grab. If you're going to begin the second half with a goal, Sweden, that is how.